Hello there, Gold Call fans. Uh, Professor Pete, the Gold Call coach here, coming to you live from the Gold Call cave. Today I'm in the shark tank trying to get some work done and make that number, right? Listen, I just, uh, I think I got jilted on a sales call today. I'm trying to call this person right now. Uh, we had a scheduled Zoom meeting today at uh, 1130. And uh, well, <laughs> It's 11.40 now, and I still haven't had it. Hello there. Hello. Who's calling? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Pete Ekstrom. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. You know, hanging in there. How you doing? Okay. I was just in a in a, in a meeting. Uh, oh, you were? Meeting. All right. I called. I saw your call, and then I, I didn't know what it was. I'm sorry. And then back so i thought that's okay that's okay uh, um yeah I, I know we're trying to connect but i'll have to get back to you when i can i'm kind of tied up with a few things now all right um but yeah but i definitely will do that i really appreciate it Peter. all right well evelyn you, you do know that you confirmed a call for me today right uh you did, did. I really yeah, you did. Hold on it's not your fault. You know, I'm going so crazy myself. You know, I don't know what day it is. But uh, the only uh, reason I'm bringing that up is that uh, if I had made a mistake. Calendar, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. All right. Well, it ought to be because you confirmed back to me. So. Yeah, it's not. Uh, my apologies. Hold on one second. No, I don't want to put you on I the spot. Had my, I had my PC crash about two weeks ago and I oh. re had to reset everything. So, again, there could be an issue here on the end. Hold on. That was a lot of fun. Hold on. Oh, that boy, I can only... At the same time... You poor thing! I think, was, I think it was just before we had the um, work call scheduled that uh, you had an issue with. Hold on one second. Let me just... Um, I'm curious, because if I accepted it... Did you send an invite, or no? We didn't do it. Uh, well, I did, and you uh, you accepted it, so... I'm not, yeah, uh, been... I'm not calling you out on the carpet. I just wanted to make sure that if I had made a mistake, I'm going to fire myself. I, I want to see because of what, um, hold on one second. Now I'm getting to start, I'm starting to worry that I might be making your life too, too much more complicated since no, I. No, no, no. Well, you know, I'm trying to see which things are not work. There are things obviously with the new computer and the setup that I had to do when I lost my laptop right. that oh, aren't my quite where they need to be yet again. I lost everything. Everything was gone. So, um, Evelyn, that's happened to me. And what I, I look, I seem to lose my umbrella all the time and it drives me crazy. Next thing of yeah. car keys, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. Listen, uh, I didn't call to give you a hard time here. I'm trying this to help is, you. If I'm uh, heard, can we try again next week? Yeah. I don't have anything. I apologize. But again, I don't see anything, uh, well, let me ask you this, if you don't mind. Do you remember? Do you remember contacting me? I think we met through uh, LinkedIn, and you would send yes, me. Yes, of course. I remember yeah. Okay. Yeah. University guy. I went to school there as well. Yeah. I your emails. I just don't have the one that says we're confirmed for today. Oh, that's all right. I just wanted to know. Uh, you know, you, you said you were interested to learn more about the program, and I don't know if I have a and program for you. It's just that right now I've had to put that on the back burner. Hold on all right, way back burner, I guess. <laughs> right yeah, consider your situation yeah, right. to, yeah. well uh, i i want to let you know something evelyn that uh you know i'm not perfect and uh so at any rate i completely understand uh you do have my contact information so perhaps when the smoke of battle clears uh you give me a give me a call or send me a text or send me a wire and uh maybe we can get together some other time and talk about our possible future together how's that sound yeah, no, that sounds good, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, I said something for Wednesday or Thursday, Zoom invite. But again, I don't see it anywhere. And again, I had some issues with my Zoom. Did you send the Zoom? Which email did you send it to? Uh, the one you gave me, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, maybe. Mm. Uh, but at any rate, you, you confirmed okay. back. So uh, I, I uh, did say on that. Yes, right. I would. But I, I didn't see the Zoom invite, so I didn't, didn't call my calendar. So I apologize. It's okay. But, um, you already, uh, um, <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> no, I know. We're on the phone in a few minutes. So, why, why, Peter, why don't you just go through with me a little bit now, if we have a couple minutes, to at least um, tell me, hold on. I'm looking for the Zoom invite to even get on. I don't. All right, it. stop looking for it, Evelyn. You're only going to make yourself more crazy. All right. Um, I create content here in our classrooms, and I train and graduate work-ready business development salespeople for companies around the world. All right. Mm -hmm. I uh, created the online textbook. It's called the Gold Call 
prospecting kit, and it right. includes a lot of uh, ingredients, both in speech and text, leveraging you know the phone and LinkedIn to attract attention to a particular person or their business. So right. mm -hmm. anyway, uh, for reasons I don't need to go into, but getting a hold of people is a challenge. Not only that, but getting people to pay attention um, is very, very difficult today. It's a very slippery uh, <laughs> to get somebody's attention in conversation because things are going so quickly that when you are, let's say, soliciting, right, or prospecting mm -hmm. for new clients. Sure. You're, you're trying to pierce the veil of attention, and you just don't have a lot of time or words uh, to, to make that happen. So in class, because my speakers, my youngsters, okay, they are uh, inexperienced with public speaking, to say the least. All right. So we came up with an idea a while back to introduce something called DigiSpeak. DigiSpeak, all right. We're all talking in sound bites. So my name is Pete Ekstrom, and I hope I have 10 seconds to tell you where I'm calling. Now, you can make a decision easily on that. Right. Ten yeah. seconds. OK. So okay. It, it gets easier from here, Evelyn, because we help companies locate and bring on board the right talent for a particular need. Right. Ten words or less. Right. But first thing, Evelyn, before I go on any further, when it comes to making decisions, hiring decisions and recruiting and that sort of thing, how much personal focus do you have in that part of your business? So now what I've done in a matter of seconds is I've had some small talk, but I cut to the chase. And if you're going to speak to me, a stranger, then I got to make it easy as pie for you to pay attention to what I'm asking, because everything that is involved in a question in a conversation should be, you know, with questions. Right. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell people everything I do because I've been on this earth quite a while. As you can see, yeah. I'm not a freshman. And uh, so I respect your intelligence that you've already heard the dog and pony sales pitch. So why don't we skip that? And if there was something that I might do to help increase recruitment and find candidates and get retainers or whatever it is that turn that floats your boat, would I get any of your attention? So the first sale we make now has to be for the attention of the candidate or the hiring manager or whoever's in HR personnel that we're making contact with. Now I'm talking about your business because I know a lot about it. And uh, so um, who, did you, who have you worked with in my business? Because everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. Too many to mention, but I uh, appreciate okay. you asking. All right. But uh, it's certainly in business process outsourcing, uh, you know, the work with iGate and Patney America, uh, Capgemini, uh, okay. uh, Olmstead Associates. Yeah. yeah. And small ones, mostly small, you know, small people. Uh, the bigger bureaucracies are just too entrenched, the E&Ys and the KPMGs, whatever. So I don't really right. do much work with them. But at any rate, to my point, if I can help you, will you pay attention to me? And if you can, can we talk and schedule some time on the phone to get better acquainted, see where we have a fit? It's that simple. So right. built this okay. curriculum years ago and got hired by Oracle. And I trained uh, Oracle's inside sales team for Oracle Direct Worldwide. And... Uh, Got discovered, as most artists do, and was brought into Pace here and auditioned, and now we've adopted a practical hands-on curriculum because we want to increase job placement rates, and that's what we're doing here at the Lubin School. And I can't take all the credit. Uh, you know, there's other professors and curriculum that work with me, but we're in a new age now of communication. And uh, anyway, the gold call .com, the gold call .com is so, where you you, know, you, uh, you, uh, you an adjunct professor as well for them doing this i am the curriculum developer oh okay so you might say i'm the guy that wrote the book <laughs> and uh i also uh my course is also carried at about i don't know a couple of dozen other business schools across the country except wharton haven't gotten in there yet but uh, I'm, I'm there sorry, you have well. it um if you can no one can that's for sure um, so quick question, how does it work and how much does it cost and all of that? $50 kit. It's $50. Okay. The gold call.com. You get the entire curriculum online that I teach in class. It'll take the inefficient speaker to a master negotiator for attention within five seconds. For $50. Yeah. Oh, too much. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I know you're being facetious. So. It's everything. Look, you, if you don't take control of any kind of negotiation right up front at hello, 
that I'm trying to woo people over the rest of the conversation. You know how people play. They keep their cards close to their vest and everybody's, you know, being coy about it. I don't want to come across as a threat. I want to make it as easy as possible for me to grant me the 10 seconds I need to tell you why I'm calling and then to make sure that I'm talking to the right person. So for me as an entrepreneur, that's the most important thing for me. I don't want to be talking to somebody that has absolutely no connection to the problem that I solve. That's not fair. So right. when you look at conversation as a level playing field, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to help people. Um, but it's hard to pitch people today. You know, it's, they, they really, it's like a trigger They catch on real quick. And then right away, I got a, I got a fight on my hands, you know, and it's not about whether or not my product or service is worth anything. It's just, you know, people are busy and I'm a distraction. I want to, I found an easy way to just, Say what needs to be said, ask what needs to be asked, and move on. I can get an appointment on the phone with a complete stranger, no matter who the heck they are, within a four-minute phone call. Right. With, okay. With, you know, what about, I have a quick question for you. What if you don't get them on the phone? What, do you, well, what is that's, your process uh, with that? Emails and such, do you have that part of that as well? Or? Well, the profile visitor module is how to monetize your LinkedIn profile. Okay? Now, LinkedIn... That, yeah, in Profile Visitor, that's included. If you wanted to work with me one-on-one -on -one for a master session, you can opt for that, okay? There is a master class. I would need to spend time with you one-on-one -on -one to uh, kind of walk you through how to find the back door to do business. And what I mean by that is every recruiter, trainer, whatever, it's a, it's a noisy business. They're all ringing the front doorbell and they're waiting in line. So what I try to do is figure out what kind of messaging in text would be synonymous with the gold call philosophy, okay? Because text is different. I see a lot of people trying to transpose how they speak into text, and it's not working. It, it sounds horrible. Right. It reads. I don't text yet. Oh. It's crazy. So anyway, profile visitor for LinkedIn and the gold call script builder kit with all the other stuff. And, uh, well... Forty nine ninety five, and if you want more than that, you let me know. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. okay. Thank you. Thanks, Evelyn. Sure. A pleasure speaking with you. You know something? We turned a negative into a positive today. Yes, we did. I got to share a little bit about what makes me get up in the morning every day, and I got to learn about your hectic environment. And now that I know how hectic it is for you. And how hectic it is for me, together we need to find a solution. I gotta tell you, if I if I invented a 36 hour day, I'd be a trillionaire. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, until they come up with a 36 hour day, there's the gold call. So there you go. There's my pitch for today. And I'll leave it at that. Evelyn, thank you so much for your attention and speaking with me. And I do hope our paths cross again soon. Thank you. All right, they will. Thanks. All right. Okay. Bye now. Bye -bye. All right, there you go. Now, I didn't expect my uh, prospect to uh, pick up the phone. Okay, I mean, I was waiting on a Zoom call for 10 minutes, and I'm a patient man. But here's the thing. What's the point of all of this, right? Calm down. Now, I remember a time when I used to be very frustrated when my prospect was a no-show. Yeah. <sighs> Wanted to get even. Revenge. It's not about you. All right. If you get emotionally involved in this game, you're going to go crazy and you're not going to make any money. Um, take it from me. I know I'm high strung. I'm a type A alpha dog, but I got to calm down and just realize that people have problems. They have circumstances. They have situations. The more empathy I give to that means that I'm walking in their shoes and we're simpatico, right? We're on the same wavelength in the frequency. For me to take her out behind the sh woodshed and scold her for missing our call today would not have been in my best interest. Why? Because at least I got a shot to sell my basic product, the gold call kit, before we hung up the phone here. So I actually turned lemons into lemonade today. And with a little patience, a little structure, what do you want to say? How do you want to say it? And also to understand that you're in the people business. I don't care what they say about AI and robotics, okay? This is still a people business, and people have feelings. And the more consideration you give to them, 
the more consideration you're going to get in return. And that's what you want as a sales professional is to make sure that people respect you right away. And everything from that point on becomes easier and you'll become more confident to say what's up here. So it comes out of here correctly. All right, Professor Pete, with the extended version of the Gold Call Show today, what happens when you get jilted by a prospect on your Zoom meeting? Don't flip your wig over it. And you never know. Kindness should be contagious. All right, anyway, enough of that. Have a great day. I hope that you have a prosperous rest of the week. And until our paths cross again, hey, happy hunting.